LeadSwift is the most powerful local B2B lead generation platform. Beyond capturing basic information about businesses worldwide, such as websites, social profiles, and reviews, it also captures the email addresses and even those of specific people working there. As we will see, LeadSwift's proprietary technology means it gets more businesses and email addresses than anything out there. It also scans the business's websites for deficiencies or custom HTML, allowing you to target those that desperately need your product. LeadSwift then lets you send personalized emails to these leads in bulk, and even schedule follow-ups based on custom triggers. Let's try a search. We'll search for restaurants in Toronto. We can search for text or HTML in specific websites, such as powered by XYZ agency, but this won't be necessary for our purposes. That's it. We'll get an email notification once it completes. The search is complete. As we can see, it took roughly an hour. Processing time depends on whether a similar query has been run before, so it can be a lot faster or slower. It shouldn't matter though, since you receive an email notification when the search completes. So there's no need to wait around. The best part is, if someone performs the same query later and LeadSwift gets more matching businesses, it'll notify you. You can even rerun the same query multiple times to get more businesses. If your email provider is daily send limits, you can specify it here. You can also limit the number of emails to contact for any given business. LeadSwift has a built-in exclude list for invalid emails, so you won't have invalid email addresses like other platforms. As well, you can and should specify your own SMTP details so that any communication sent is from your own email address. You can create simple email templates or set up extensive email sequences based on optional triggers. Here, we've created a contact sequence for businesses that don't have a website. You can use dynamic tokens to send highly personalized emails in bulk. For example, LeadSwift would replace this business name token with the business's actual name when sending out emails. In the contact sequence, we can also schedule follow-ups. For example, if the person opens the email but doesn't respond. Let's go back to our search results. In terms of the number of leads, we can see that LeadSwift captured a massive 3,813 restaurants in Toronto. Some of these might be similar listings, which the detailed report will merge. LeadSwift has far too many data points about every business to list individually in this video. If you want to review it more thoroughly, just pause this video right now. The main ones are already pre-selected, so let's stick to those. One thing that totally sets LeadSwift apart from everything else is the fact that it captures not only the business's email address, but also those of its employees, as well as their names, job titles, and even social profiles. It captures the business's ratings, social metrics, website deficiencies, whether they're advertising anywhere, social profiles, directory listings such as on TripAdvisor, and a lot more. If you're an agency, you can run an audit on any website to include in your outreach campaign. LeadSwift also has a ton of filters. For example, you can filter by businesses that don't have a website, those that have SEO issues, those that don't have a particular social profile, those that aren't running paid ads, and even those that have poor ratings. With the click of a button, we can then contact these businesses using the contact sequence we previously created. Let's export the results. After removing the duplicates, we can confirm 3,805 unique businesses were found. We deduct one to account for the title row. 
Emails were captured for a massive 1,981 businesses after again deducting one for the title role. It's also important to note that these are not the total number of emails since there are hundreds of employee email addresses for some individual businesses. To emphasize, we have at least one email address for a massive 1,981 businesses. You can see that all of these email addresses are valid. Our exclude settings would have already eliminated invalid email addresses. For the 1,981 businesses where we have emails, let's also see how many total email contacts were captured. So, as we can see, over 62,000 emails were captured. This is just a colossal, colossal amount of leads. It's more than absolutely any other tool. Most likely, it's more than all the other tools in the market combined. As you can see, there's nothing that comes close to LeadSwift in terms of the breadth of features, the number of businesses it captures, and most importantly, the number of contacts it captures for those businesses. Just imagine trying to get all of these data points for nearly 4,000 businesses manually. Now imagine also trying to get the contact information for these businesses one by one, searching their websites, social profiles, search engines, LinkedIn profiles, and more. It's a monumental task that would take you months, if not years. With LeadSwift, you can do it in a few minutes with more efficiency. While LeadSwift might be more expensive and slower to process the queries than what's out there, it just isn't worth potentially missing a sale with an inferior product that doesn't capture every possible lead. Every single lead missed by other tools is a potential sale that could have made you hundreds, thousands, or even hundreds of thousands of dollars. Thank you for watching.